Two of Dave's guests were two gals from Texas, Juliana and Robin, and they started an all-girl organization called A Girl and a Gun. Well, A Girl and a Gun is a national organization for women, and we get them together to do girls' night out at the range. We encourage training. Uh, we really want to get them into competitive shooting as well as all forms of recreational shooting. Yeah, so we have girls night out at 190 ranges across the country where women can come and learn how to shoot pistols, rifles, and shotguns. Well, really our goal is to get them into our shooting community to be safe, you know, shooters at the range, you know, out um, in their daily lives with concealed carry, uh, being hunters, being competitive shooters, and we really want them to be educated consumers. I had some expectation of, of what a hunting trip might be like. When we got to come out to the grass, I thought I could walk through grass, but I wasn't expecting grass. grass. And <laughs> it, was, it was a completely different experience. I never thought the phrase, we can walk through grass, would be subjective. Hashtag, not a short person sport. Robin and Juliana came to me and she goes, well, we just didn't want to let you down. We didn't want to let you down. And I was like, you're not going to let me down. She goes, well, it's hard for us to go. I was like, I know, I knew it would be. She goes, this is, no, this is no joke. This grass is the real deal. I said, I know it. That's where the birds are. Them to be in the taller grass or the shorter grass, or does it not matter? Tall. It doesn't T matter. Taller grass. But oh, they like the taller grass. Yeah, they want to hide. Yep. And it's on purpose. You know, this, this stuff didn't grow on its own. They, Upland Inn Hunts had to make sure this happens. You know, this is where, this is why he keeps the birds here. She's like, yeah, I noticed there isn't, there isn't cover like this in other areas. It's all, all for a reason. One of the neat things that we've seen over the years is probably 10% of our hunters now are women, uh, women and children. And uh, Juliana and Robin, it was their first time. We love that experience to be able to hopefully get them addicted on, on bird hunting and conservation and the beauty of uh, nature and uh, see the smile on their face when they finally get their first bird. And again, until you see a pheasant in person and know how many colors of the rainbow are in there. And, as you hold it up, it glistens off of, uh, the sun glistens off the feathers, and uh, that's something special when you get to see the reaction of a first-time pheasant hunter on how beautiful uh, one of God's creatures is. I was really surprised having never seen a pheasant up close, just how beautiful they are and how iridescent the feathers are. It almost looks like a, a mermaid. <laughs> it's all colorful and beautiful. So the first time when I hit my first bird and they brought it to me, I held him and I just I couldn't believe how beautiful he was and the colors and just the whole experience was, was pretty amazing. Yeah, that first time that um, my first team effort and then the bird, you know, the dog brought it to me and I'm holding it and I'm just, you know, I kind of just said a little thanks for, you know, for a minute. You know, thanks for what it brought. That was amazing to learn yeah. about the dog and how it, it flushes the birds and how it follows the scent and in the wind and how, how much the wind played into not having the scent and not having the sounds and all of those things. It was very interesting. Working with the dogs was a part of, I think, just... I wouldn't I know how you do it without them. Right. They're such an integral part and the, the work that goes into training these dogs and the personalities of each dog, it was really fun. A couple of times I almost got, I got like snipped, you know, like, whoa! <laughs> There's one in front of me, there's one behind yeah, me. We had, we had to watch the dogs. We had to watch the line, watch the dogs, watch, watch the gun. We had lots to think about, that's for sure. Yeah. And uh, they handled themselves very well. They were really worried about making a mistake. They didn't make any mistakes. They were fantastic. You know, they had that gun. They know how to handle guns. They just didn't know how to handle the environment, what was going on around them. You have to learn this. And, and the best way to do it is to jump in with both feet. But you gotta be with the right people to learn it. And that's what was cool, because we had the right people to set the stage and explain to them what they're getting ready to get into. And so now they have a whole new, whole new outlook on upland hunting, what it's about. They understand it now.